I want to start with Carson Wentz. Okay. Okay. Is it a better decision to have him as your starting quarterback than Ryan Fitzpatrick? Because we, we were loving a little bit of Fitzmagic. I, I get it. Fitzmagic's mm-hmm. fun. I mean, he's polarizing. But yes, no doubt. Let's just end that conversation Done. right now. Okay. Right. You're I mean, deading it. Yes. I mean, again, I, I like Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's certainly got some, you know, guts and, and you know, been there, done that as mm-hmm. far as battle tested. Uh, Carson Wentz, though, you know, again, there's issues. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But I think to compare him to somebody like Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, I don't even think that's fair to Carson Wentz. I don't. I look at Carson Wentz as, yes, I know there's issues. You know, he obviously has issues relating to people, talking to people, being a leader. It's the second time we're hearing that. Colts, Eagles, mm-hmm. now we're going to a third team. So there's that. You know, the play on the field is better than what people give him credit for. Yeah. I will say that as well. And, again, he's shown snippets of being like – like he's shown snippets of being a star at times. Mm-hmm. You know, you can go back to his second year when they win the Super Bowl. He's going to be the MVP of the NFL. 2019, the playoff run with a bunch of no names on offense. He carried the squad. So he's shown the ability to play at an elite level. It's just in between yeah. can be like a lot of, whoa, that's some dumb crap. And what are you doing there? <laughs> and then you couple that with some of the off the field stuff. And that's where he's become a little bit of a polarizing, you know, subject. I'll, I'll go with this far, mm-hmm. right? You asked me about Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yep. I'd I'd double down and go, I mean, if you gave me a choice, Carson Wentz or Jimmy Garoppolo, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. I'm going Carson Wentz. I am. Why? Well, again, more talent, right? Carson Wentz, we make fun of him because, oh, man, he does make some dumb interceptions. Jimmy Garoppolo, <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo is like he's one and of the, the poster times child. Of the interceptions too. Right, exactly. Yes, the they both have the issue of yeah. like timing, of like the mm-hmm. biggest moments. We like to do the dumbest shit. Right. And that to me too. So yes, I, I'm I'm for a team like Washington with they're they're on the cusp of being a real playoff contender and a pain in the butt in the NFC conversation. They were desperate for a quarterback. Mm-hmm. And I think they realized, wait, Fitzpatrick up there in age, just had a serious injury last year. There's really no future. We know what he is. Taylor Heineke, yeah, there was some fun plays we talked about during yeah. the year. But there was too many, like, also plays that you look at and go, wait, a consistent quarterback or a good quarterback in the NFL should make this play every time. And that wasn't always made with Tyler Heineke. And I think mm-hmm. that's why they were looking for the upgrade. And, yeah, with uh, Wilson and Rodgers gone, this was the next best option. I feel like for Carson Wentz, though, don't you have to have a galvanizing figure in your locker room? Like, shouldn't that be – if you're not going to be completely consistent, if there's going to be some sure. inconsistencies, then right. one of your superpowers should probably be that. Yeah, being, being able, able to, to keep, communicate yes. and do that. Yeah, you're right. If I mean, you're going to be digging holes, having to get out of them, sure. bring your team back, there's right. got to be a lot of belief in you. I, I w- would agree with that. There mm-hmm. has to be that. That's what you always want from a friend. That's what a good franchise quarterback does. Mm-hmm. It's just, oh, wait, we're hurt this week. Oh, we're not what playing a- our best. Oh, wait, we got that guy at quarterback. He'll help us out and make it happen. Yeah, Wentz, there's, there's those questions, certainly. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I think he was even with the Colts. Mm-hmm. It, it says it all. I mean, Frank Reich was still, I think, willing to stick his neck out there and go with Carson Wentz. But the owner had seen enough. And mm-hmm. I think Chris Ballard had seen enough, too, let alone wh- whether it was the not getting vaccinated you know, the poor play to start the year and then the end of the year missing a whole week of practice because you're not vaccinated and then playing like shit in the last two games of the year, that's not going to win over a fan base. Uh -uh. And that's why, hey, it's dicey for for Washington. But Mm -hmm. they were desperate, you know, but they're they're certainly in danger of like, if he doesn't play well, everyone going, well, he's Carson Wentz. What did you expect? (laughs) And that's, you know, the risk they're taking. That was like your voice that you did. That's your voice voice in the screen. (laughs) Well, what did you expect? What did you expect? (laughs) Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.